Hi, this is Charlotte at Bluebird Gardens. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's Thursday, March 17th, and I'm getting ready to plant my first crops in my pot garden that sits here on my deck. It's currently under construction, but hopefully it'll get done soon. So I've kept this pot garden on a deck for many decades now. I like it because I can control uh, what's how it's being watered. I can also access it easily. And although you can buy very expensive seeds, for years I've picked up these seeds at one of our local big box stores. These are 20 cents per package. And if you look inside the packages, okay, I've already planted one crop of seeds. I planted this half of the pot right from this stake to here with lettuce seeds. And I probably have three more crops that I can plant out of that seed. So you don't need a lot of seeds to get started. And then I took an old set of blinds and made myself some stakes here. And what I'm gonna do here is even though this part is planted already, I'm gonna leave that stake and in a couple weeks plant another crop on this side. And that way I only need to use one stake in this pot. And you're probably wondering about the strange bottle in the middle. So this is an old juice bottle that has holes, both at the bottom and on the side. So when I water this pot, I can put water, yes, around this to keep the soil nice and hydrated, but I'll also put water inside the pot, this little drinking uh, container, and the water will then slowly seep out and make sure that the soil underneath this is also kept hydrated, which is very, very important. So I have some of the pots, the little uh, containers in the center. This is a larger container because this is a larger pot. This is a smaller container. And then I'll have this one. Last year I had sage planted in this pot, but this, this, this one is on the side because I want more stuff planted on here, on that side. Like an herb will spread and its roots will stay hydrated by having the, the little drinking container on the side. So that's it. You can also plant something in a hanging basket. I'm going to pick up a couple more containers to put smaller ones to put in the center to keep the soil hydrated. We're having rain tomorrow, so I'm hoping that that'll keep the soil wet. And if it doesn't rain tomorrow, I'll come out here and definitely wet the soil by putting water in the center. So the next pot I'm gonna be planting will be radishes and then Grand Rapids leaf lettuce. And I may plant those together. You can plant whatever you like. Herbs are wonderful planted in this way, like sage, coriander. I have parsley that winters over inside, rosemary that winters over inside. And then yesterday I also planted the first most important herb in our house, which is catnip, in a larger pot on the other side of the deck where my cat likes to roll in the soil and then enjoy a little fresh catnip. So plant what you like and what you enjoy. And this is a great way to start a garden without having to go out and get a piece of land. You'll be surprised at what you can grow in this kind of setup. Happy gardening.